At the start of the months-long marathon of ready-to-wear shows, an article by Susie Menkes, one of the most influential fashion writers in the world, was published in the New York Times fashion magazine T. It was titled The Circus of Fashion, and overnight it was the talk of the fashion town, both in the front rows of the shows and on the web. The article raised a number of questions regarding bloggers, street photographers and the importance of having critical eye when it comes to reviewing fashion shows. We turned our camera on the movers and shakers in the fashion world to hear, firsthand, their reaction to this Hot Topic article. She's such a clever woman, she said a lot of uh, things that are uh, real, but doesn't mean they are wrong, <laughs> you know? It depends uh, how you want to look at it. I think, I, I think um, there is a professional people, like uh, as I consider myself, that I always dressed up and I always gonna do the same things, and I used to do it also when I was not working as an editor. But, uh, and there is uh, people that, you know, like vanity and fashion, it's one thing, it's linked. And thanks to vanity, fashion is still selling clothes. So I think it's actually fun to have all the, all the circus going on in front of the show. Well, you know, first of all, I love Susie. She's a great writer, she's a great critic of fashion, she has a huge knowledge of, like, history. And I think some of her points were really good, like I agree with her, some others, not so much, you know, but it's different points of view, I think, it's different generation and it's different ways of seeing things, you know, and then she probably doesn't know all this new generation who's coming up as bloggers or like people that are photographed. As my side, I can tell you that it's you can't help it, like there's nothing you can do. I mean, they, people are doing their job, they're photographing you, they work for magazines, they're getting paid, and it's, for me, I've always been photographed, like since many, many years. I never wear black, so I mean, <laughs> truly, like I never, ever, ever dress black. <laughs> so I've always dressed like this, and this has always been my style, like I love colors, I love texture, I love to mix up things. When I started to go to the shows, it was exactly when people were wearing black. To the beginning of the 2000s, it was like everyone, everyone black. I never really loved to wear black, because maybe because I come from South Italy and black means when someone died, you know? So I've always been in, uh, in color all my life. You know, I think she had some valid points. Um, I think it is a, a little bit of a circus, but you know that's part of the fun of it. You know, I think the part that um, that it misses. You know, it, it, I read it very much as a kind of you know the good old days. It wasn't as crazy and all of that, but uh, you know in the old days people didn't love fashion as much. You know, it was kind of very elitist and exclusive, and I think people didn't feel close to fashion the way they feel close to um, sports or music. And right now, I mean, I think you can see, you know, at this thing, uh, people come out to the shows, they want to see the people, they want to be involved with the magic of fashion. People misunderstand my photographs are not a stamp of saying this person has great style. Mm -hmm. It's never been that, that's why I hardly ever put their names. Um, it's not a stamp. I, hopefully my better, my best photographs uh, are romantic images that make people dream and so it's sometimes it's not you know it's like the way that you're standing right now you know you're standing with your hand kind of there's a certain gesture a certain romance about the way that that you're standing um, about the light about the the, the image itself mm -hmm. and uh, the best images I think are are rarely just about the clothes I think it's it's the overall dream that it creates mm -hmm. and so I don't feel a, a responsibility at all other than to take pictures that I uh, and publish pictures that I feel strongly about and everybody can make their own story about that. I agree with her that it is a circus and I mean I have to work in the circus and every season it just gets crazy and crazier. I mean I can understand how people are interested in the idea of be, you know being part of it because fashion has become more democratic 
But what about, about girls who change, like, I don't know, five times per day just to be photographed? I mean, the point I always make about that is who cares? I mean, it, what does it matter? You know, we'll never remember how many times they change, you know, five, you know, 50 years from now. And I guess it's a difference for me. You know, I shoot a lot of unknown people. You know, I was the first one to really shoot Anna Della Russo, first one to shoot Giovanna. Yes. But, you know, I didn't put their names on it. I mean, it's, it's good for us because we have more things to photograph. But I mean, I think it's a bit crazy when you change four times a day or change every show. I don't want to be distracted by that, but I think that's just my choice, not to be, I don't pay attention to it. Mm -hmm. You know, I walk into the shows, I have to dodge a few people to get into the shows. I find, I find it odd in a way, but it is a different media age and we've seen since Facebook and Twitter and all of the development of social media that people can turn themselves into a brand. But again, it's not not too new. Aren't you tired of the thing that people come to the shows not to judge but to be judged themselves? Well I think this is what has changed in this business. Um, it's kind of hard to say that you are tired. That's the new reality so you have to deal with it. Sure I find like uh, difficult to deal with people with strong opinion that don't have any history and don't have any responsibilities. Um, and that's what happens a lot with like the new media. Standards of blogging have been, um, there's been a question mark over them from the very beginning. And the independent bloggers that is. Yes. And, but I, it's not my problem. I guess that's why I don't have an opinion about it. I think that I have my work to do and, um, and I think that I, I don't want to get involved in a polemic of any kind. Social media can be more, much more corrupted and much more corruptible than like serious journalism because kind of the history of journalism has produced a lot of uh, a system of control somehow. And you know that, you know, Susie Mankes is reliable as a source of information.